Well, Columbus is quickly going into that mode that it does every year, and it's Beat Michigan Week coming up. And of course, we wanted to track some of the places you want to tailgate and hang out for Beat Michigan and that big game. And also, what about the day before when you got to find some great gifts? Well, we found some pretty good ideas for you. You don't want to miss one minute of today's show. Stay with us. With awesome service and great food, BBR has it all. And they got a great Beat Michigan party coming up as well. A lot going on here as well as live music, DJs, and great drink specials. We talked to Grant to learn more. You know something I always wonder, what does BBR stand for? Uh, 364 days of the year, it stands for Beer, Burgers, and Rock, which is kind of what we're all about. We have 20 draft selection. Uh, amazing food, and then we're uh, kind of big on our music front also. So what does it stand for on the 365th day? Uh, one day of the year, the biggest day of the year in Columbus is uh, the Michigan game. Uh, the day stands for Beat the Blue Rival. You know, let's talk a little bit about that delicious food, and I've actually tried it, and it is good here. So let's talk about your food and your staff and, and, and the kind of service you're going to find here. Cool. We're a complete scratch kitchen, so we make all of our sauces, uh, dressings, everything in the back of the house. We get all of our seafood, meat shipped in fresh every couple days, and then we do a lot of daily specials. Uh, our executive chef comes up with different specials every day. Right now we're doing burgers and sandwiches every day. Other than that, our staff, got a great staff, very knowledgeable. Uh, can pretty much teach them from anything from alcohol, liquor, to what's going on in the area, to local hotels, whatever you need to know about the area. Now, right now we're starting lunch right now. Um, we have great lunch specials. We got half off lunches. After that, we go right into our happy hour. We have great happy hour specials. And then every night of the week we have something different going on. We have everything from trivia to... Uh, game nights to uh, different different really good food specials uh, and then on the weekends of course we turn into a little bit more of a, a nightclub uh, we have DJs and we have like every Friday night we have live bands play then sw switch over to DJs on the weekends on Sunday night we end up doing um, industry night for all of our local industry folks so now what about the beat Michigan Are you got do anything special for that uh, we do huge watch parties. We do victory parties for just about every game. Last year was really easy to do victory parties, <laughs> yeah. so it's for every game. Uh, and so far this year, it's been going really well. Um, that day, we'll open early. Um, we'll, have, uh, we'll have food specials, drink specials going on all day long. And then we'll probably have our DJ on a little bit early. Tell us how we get more information about BBR and where we find you at here in the Arena District. Uh, go to bbrcolumbus.com. Uh, our phone number is 614-365-7625. And... Uh, Stop by. We're open every day, 365 days a year, never closed for anything, uh, 11 a.m. to 2.30 a.m. Well, if you're looking for a great, comfortable place to come in the Arena District, Bucks and Pucks is the place you want to hang out. Look at the size of these beers, plus a great Beat Michigan party. We learn more about what's happening here from Chico Garcia. What are we going to find here? Clientele, atmosphere, that kind of thing. I uh, got a great clientele, a lot of couples here hanging out. Uh, we're open two hours before every Blue Jackets game, and uh, you're just a two-minute walk to the nationwide arena there you're right next to the clipper stadium so afternoon wise get a lot of families a lot of kids in here as well then at nighttime we have a dj and then what you'll see with our sporting package is great more college football because we're not open on sunday so we're open for the thursday football games the saturday football games yeah this is a comfortable place isn't it we got a lot of fun here where you can come and just hang out we uh have giant jenga we have mario kart we have a pool table we have ski ball we have cornhole so you don't just come sit down eat and leave you can kind of have a little bit more fun from an entertainment standpoint. So tell me a little bit about your Beat Michigan party you got coming up. Well, obviously we do not like to team up north. It's the last game of the scheduled season. It's fun. So we have a Go Bucks. Michigan sucks party and along with that we're gonna be doing three dollar draft beers throughout today so you're looking for somewhere to go watch the game you don't have to clean up after yourselves have somebody serve you bucks and pucks is this place to be we have different events that we do we're open Wednesday through Saturday here and then again as I said special events for any nationwide arena event uh, Wednesday night service industry night on Thursday we have a karaoke night that's hosted by a national recording artist Friday and Saturday 
if there's no sporting events going on, if we're not showing UFC, which we do show those UFC fights, we have a DJ going on. So we got a small place to dance. It's a dance spot, not a uh, not a nightclub, no cover charge. It's just, hey, let's go somewhere. So as I said, we get a lot of couples that come down and hang out. Also, let's talk about what you're doing food-wise here. Food-wise here, you're going to have some good food, uh, some great pizzas. We have some signature items. Some of the Wachos are one of our number one uh, selling items. And uh, again, we've got big, huge uh, draft beers with the Steins. And the food's not full blown. I want to say healthy, made from scratch, but it's good food. So it's it's. Is that what they call comfort food? Yes, more long lines out buffer, but great pizzas, okay. great yeah. pizzas. Yeah. Well, man, I tell you, it's a great place. It sounds like a great place just to come and hang out, bring some friends. So how do we find you and uh, get more information on the place? Downtown. The address is 147 West Vine Street, and uh, we have ample amount of parking right across the street from us. But with over 50 bourbons, a lot of craft beer, a great chili cook-off when it comes to that Beat Michigan Day, we had an opportunity to talk to Andrea about what's all happening here at Finnegan's Wake. So tell us a little bit about what your customers are going to find here when they come out to Finnegan's Wake. Well, we have over 50 bourbons and whiskeys. We have a large selection of craft beer. We just recently started, uh, we just recently um, started selling bottled bottles of wine, which we're going to uh, expand later on. So what kind of activities are your customers going to find here? Uh, we have two pool tables, two still tip dart boards. We also have Kino. Um, we have um, pull tabs. So I understand you have live music here. Absolutely. Every Wednesday we have acoustic um, and from 8 to 11. On Friday and Saturday nights we have full bands from 9 to 11. Or nine to one, and some of the bands that play are like the Jack, Red Light Go. So we got the big game coming up with those folks up north. So what uh, what's the plans here at Finnegan's Wake? Uh, we're going to do our first annual chili cook-off with our customers. So that should be a great time. So you're doing a charity event December fifth, right? Correct. Um, it is with Red Light Go and Ronnie Hunter from the Blitz. Um, it is for Summit for Soldiers, which deals with uh, PTSD and uh, suicide. So we're here to raise money for them. So right now we're selling raffle, raffle tickets for a dollar. Um, we're also going to do, uh, we don't have all the details worked out yet, but probably a silent auction and those sorts of things. We'll have drink specials and so. Okay. We so stay tuned to your website for more information. Right? Ab absolutely, absolutely. So give me some uh, give me some contact information where we can find you and come out and see you. Okay, we're at 841 Hill Road, um, Hill Road North and Pickerington. We'll, um, crossroads are 256 and Diley Road. What's your website? It is finnegan'swake-oh.com. Fantastic, thanks so much for being on the show. If you enjoy the old time games like Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man, and Galaga, well, this is the place that you want to play them. It's Level 1 Bar and Arcade. It's located in the Crosswoods. We talked to Paul Burkhardt, who just opened this business not long ago. What a great place to enjoy a beer and an arcade game. Tell me a little bit about the concept behind this. The concept is uh, bringing back old retro arcades uh, from the 80s and 90s, bringing back whether it be uh, video games, pinball machines from that era that we all played as kids, and bringing them back for us to play as adults and maybe share with our kids at times, uh, but we match it up with a, a bar. Uh, and so as a result, there's a the kind of the, the big craze in, in craft beer has developed over the last five or 10 years, and particularly in Columbus, just in the last few years has exploded. And we have a, a lot of fantastic beer offerings just in central Ohio. So we like the idea of, of kind of marrying those two concepts together. We have the games on free play, so it, um, uh, you can play all you want. Uh, as long as you're having a nice drink, you can play all the games you want. The pinballs we do keep on 50 cent play. They are uh, a lot more susceptible to maintenance. So a lot of moving parts, and so we have to do a lot of maintenance. So we, that basically just covers our maintenance cost. And this is one of those things that uh, these, these are probably uh, games that I enjoyed. Oh yeah, no, these are great. We, we, uh, and the demographic is so broad too. But there's um, certainly the people in their 30s, 40s, even 50s that remember these games playing as, as kids in arcades, and uh, myself included. But then it's fun because you see a lot of people 20s and 30s, uh, the millennials as you call them, and uh, and they really seem to enjoy this uh, as well. They've, they've sort of made a comeback these games have, and pinball has also kind of made a little bit of a, uh, has been a little bit of a renaissance in, in pinball too, where it's come back some. So how do we find you and uh, get more information? You got a website? Sure. Yeah. Our website is Level One Bar. It's L E V E L, the number number one numeral one bar dot com, and we have a Facebook page, Twitter account, uh, just getting up and running, um, and uh, actual 
Physical address, where do we find? Physical address, we're at 130 Hutchinson, uh, uh, and we're in the Crosswoods area. If you're familiar with uh, 27023, there's the Marcus Cinema, and adjacent to that is a, a strip where we have a, a space. Um, and um, uh, so it's, it's within walking distance to the theater, uh, a lot of local hotels and uh, apartment complexes uh, are nearby as well. Uh, pretty accessible from all major highways. That kind of thing. Stay up to date with Out and About Columbus by visiting our Facebook page to see upcoming shows, behind the scenes content, and even giveaways to some of our favorite places that we visit. That's facebook.com slash out and about Columbus. Well, you know, the fun part about doing this job is every once in a while you find just a great place, a new concept restaurant, and that's exactly what we found here at the Grass Skirt Tiki Room. I'll tell you, you can catch the big wave right in through the front door. You'll think you went to a, a, a went to Hawaii all of a sudden. We talked to Carmen Owens where we learned more. Let's talk a little bit about the Tiki concept and how this all came about and, and what exactly it is. Uh, sure. Tiki bars are a concept that started sort of 1940s and 50s uh, in California when people were sort of looking for some escapism, surrealism, uh, looking to uh, pull together some really nice influences from South Seas and Pacific where they had been fighting. Um, so it's got a really, really deep Base in, in our historical cocktail culture. Um, and as you can see, um, it's also about decor, about um, really pulling together some fun elements of lighting and tiki um, and island influences. Now, now you have tiki drinks, and what are those? Uh, tiki cocktails are, um, they're generally, um, some people think of them as, you know, these sort of fruit sugar bombs. Those are not tiki cocktails. Um, tiki cocktails are really uh, well crafted, nicely balanced, um, a good balance of general rum um, can be some other stuff like gin or bourbon and then some fun tiki magic ingredients like dry ice and fire and all kinds of fun stuff like that so we open every day at 11 a.m. Um, we have brunch on the weekends 11 to 3 it's a nice island brunch so we've got everything from crab cake and avocado eggs benedict to a spam omelet to you know just a standard breakfast sandwich so you can get a little bit of everything um, the holidays are coming up so people are booking holiday parties here this is a really fun place to bring you know 20 20 to 25 people have some cocktails, get laid with a lay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, and have a really nice time, maybe have some small plates and uh, have a little dance party if you want to. Well, how do we find you? Because uh, we don't want to keep it a secret from everybody, right? Yeah, no, we don't. Um, we're at the corner of Grant and Long downtown, right next to the New Hills Market. Um, there's a little parking right next to the building, but there's also, you know, meters and other parking uh, real close by. Right. And you got a website? Yeah, we're at uh, www.grasskirttiki.com. The Bogey is famous for its memorial tournament after parties, but did you know they have fun events and specials all year long? Mark told me more about their upcoming events and brand new food and drink menu. I mean, a lot of people don't realize you're open all the time, not just for the memorial tournament. Right. For the better part of the year, we've been working on getting the word out that the bogey is back and we are open seven days a week, the other 51 weeks out of the year other than the tournament. Everybody knows we put on a great party for that, but the other 51 weeks, we've really been working towards getting great food, improving the level of service. Uh, I know about the Rocky history over the last 10 or 15 years. Is it open? Is it not? Or whatnot? But um, I really think that we've making, made some good strides over these last few months to really bring the bogey back and make it a great place again. You've got all kinds of events going on for football and even the holidays. Yes, we have four big watch parties planned um, over the over uh, the next month. Uh, we're going to be giving away uh, free raffles on each one of these games. Um, uh, almost $4,000 in prizes. Um, we've been getting a lot of good Buckeye football crowds, and we hope that continues over through the December. And we hope they keep winning and get us another national championship. Well, let's talk about the food because you guys have a fantastic menu, also some really unique drinks. Yes, um, you guys just saw um, Riley make uh, his uh, cedar smoked old fashioned. That's kind of our bell cow drink of our new drink menu that we just launched on Friday. Uh, we also have a new menu launching on Monday, and these are some of the new items. Um, these are Chef Matt's uh, Brussels sprouts. This is our bogey loco dip, and these are our new pork shanks uh, tossed in a ranch butter. Um, but these all this is just the tip of the iceberg for what we're trying to do here. Um, we have some other dishes. Um, I think there's a total. 15 new dishes coming out uh, on Monday. We'll also have some live entertainment, I understand. Yes. Um, once football season's over with, we will have live entertainment Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, 
uh, we, acoustically in here and on the warmer months on the, pa on the patio, it's full bands. For those who don't know where you're located and if you have a website. We are at 6013 Glick Road in Powell, Ohio, and the website is www.bogeyin.com. Well, you want to know where the hottest tailgating party in Columbus is, is down here at Gateway. And my friend Maria Durant is down here every week for that tailgating party. And, of course, with the Beat Michigan coming up, you definitely want to be here. We talked to Kate and Christiana about what's going on down here at the Gateway. Well, Kate, Christiana, welcome down to Mount Columbus. Hey. Glad to have you guys back on yeah, the show. we're happy to have you back. Well, you know, I, I understand that Maria's doing a great job on the tailgate show down here. Yeah, so, she is. So, why is this the place to tailgate? Well, there are a couple of reasons. First and foremost, we have the best football show in Columbus, which is ABC 6's The Football Fever with Maria Durant and former OSU player Jimmy Bell. They are here every Saturday, whether home or away game, and they're just getting the crowd rallied up, whether it's World of Beer, Ugly Tuna, Mad Max, Eddie George's, even Aveda. They got dressed up as zombies for Halloween at Aveda. So, you know, they really just interact with the fans, and people love to come here because it's accessible parking they can walk to the stadium and they have their choice of both pre-game and post-game venues to go to so it's just a blast yeah. there's no better time in Columbus let's talk a little bit about what you guys have going on for the holidays yeah we actually have a lot going on for the holidays you're gonna find that you know in a couple weeks after Thanksgiving it's gonna be completely redone in the alley with some holiday decor a 10-foot Christmas tree in the front um, we're gonna have some artwork by Michael Dickinson um, up on some windows there's going to be the holiday hoot at the gateway film center a really fun family event for the holidays Santa will be there we'll have some music and then we're also having a tree lighting ceremony on december 11th partnering with um, a wonderful life will be premiering at the gateway film center we're going to have again some music some food some drink everything's going to be holiday themed it's going to be a great time um, pursuit from the short north they're doing their annual christmas um, holiday sweater store at the space in the front and that's just going to be a blast. Where we can find you, how we get more information, all that other good stuff. Yes. So you can go on our website at southcampusgateway.com. Follow us on Twitter at SCG underscore CBUS. Check out these businesses in our local business spotlight. If you do a lot of work at the computer or you're a gamer, imagine having one of these beautiful chairs from Need for Seat. We had an opportunity to sit down and talk to Jimmy Starbeckia. So this is Need for Seat USA. Interesting name, I got to say. So what is Need for Seat? What do you guys do? We make the best ergonomic chairs for office out in the market, as of right now. now these seats are actually customizable, aren't they? they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. We can customize the seat to your liking. I mean, we're sitting on OSU, Ohio State University, and, and, and these are just amazing chairs. I, I don't know who wouldn't want one of these in their office, right, except a Michigan fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're proud to partner with Ohio State University. Uh, part of the proceeds go to the Ohio State University. This is, I think, will be best Christmas present for any fan out there yeah. right now. Yeah. We've all seen the, the cheaper chairs that you can buy at some of the box houses, stuff like that. That isn't this chair, is it? No, this is not an ordinary chair. This is not a chair made of plywood and stuffing. This chair is made as full metal, uh, full metal uh, framing. It's got a memory foam. It's got a PU leather. It doesn't scratch. Doesn't smell. The chair is an investment in your future. And you buy this chair, your back will thank you in the long run. What's the warranty like on that? And if and if something breaks, what what will happen? We have two years full warranty in a chair. We are online business, so. If you buy a chair and you're not happy with the chair, you can return for full money back for 14 days. Mm -hmm. And after that, you can, uh, I am two years full warranty. Anything goes wrong with the chair, we, we build the chair, we design the chair, and we take care of the chair. But you can actually have your company logo put on chairs, right? Oh, most definitely. We have quite a few companies as of right now, and they order more than 50 chairs. I can design the chair to their liking with their company logo. Show us how these arms work so that if you're in yeah. a computer... Yeah. Uh, this, these are for the arms. They go up and down. They go forward, backward. They come inside and out. And if you're in a computer, you just put them down. So you're here. Now, you can bring the back. It's adjustable. You bring it all the way. You got full support. And if you're tired, you know, you can lay it down. You, you know. <laughs> Now, is it okay to nap? <laughs> yeah, you can nap on these chairs, but <laughs> that's not the purpose of this. But they're very, very comfortable chairs, as you can see. Give us a website so people can find these and, and order them, because this is just an, an incredible value. You can buy this by going to needforseatusa.com, or you can come over here to uh, 1946 Camaro Avenue, or five minutes uh, drive from downtown Columbus. Fantastic, man. What a great Christmas gift. Jimmy, good seeing you again. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for having us.
Excellent gift ideas, tableware, fine linens, and everything in between can be found at Katarina LTD. Catherine showed me several of their unique gift ideas, as well as told me about an event coming up in German Village. So Catherine, what are some of the great and unique gift ideas we can find here at Katarina's LTD for ourselves and others this year? (laughs) Well, we have some wonderful things for the table for your Thanksgiving meals. We have, for example, platters. I think a turkey would look wonderful on one of our Italian platters. We have um, cookware that is really healthy because it's 100% ceramic. This can go on your stove, in your oven, in your freezer. If you are looking for something as a housewarming gift uh, for the person who uh, presides over the kitchen, we have some beautiful French tea towels that are really beautiful for the for the kitchen. Now, I know this is one of your favorites. Yes, it is. (laughs) We have have our German um, aerating glassware for uh, wine. It actually aerates your wine in under two minutes in the glass. And then, of course, we have some of our holiday things out. We're excited to have our um, German um, hand carved woodwork. This is one of the pyramids that goes around when you light the candles. The heat from the candle actually rises up and turns the turnstile. Let's talk about the village lights coming up. Yes, we're excited. Village Lights is maybe 11th or 12th year now, and um, we will put out um, luminaries all along the streets of German Village. All the businesses stay open from 5 to 9. Here at Katerina, we will be offering our um, Christmas ornament special deal. So if you buy two ornaments, you get the second one at half price during Village Lights. How can we find out more information about Katarina's LTD? You can give us a call 614-224-7224 or check us out on our website. It's KatarinaLTD.com. Skip the Dishes is North America's fastest growing food delivery network. They connect hungry people with restaurants and local food couriers through their algorithm-based dispatch system. Because of its widespread automation, which lowers the cost of offering the delivery service, Skip the Dishes is constantly signing up new territories and in established markets like Columbus, new restaurants are approaching Skip the Dishes weekly. Skip the Dishes is very proud that for both food lovers and food couriers, their network is 100% free and always will be. Ordering from Skip the Dishes is very simple. Step one, choose a restaurant. Begin by entering your address on the homepage and press Find Restaurants. Skip the Dishes will display the restaurants to deliver to your location or are available nearby for pickup. Step two, place your order. Once you've selected your restaurant, it's time to choose your food. Browse the restaurant's menu and select your food and drink choices. Once you've finished adding your favorite meal items, press on the checkout button. Step three, Check out, confirm your order, and pay online or with cash on pickup delivery. Your order is immediately sent to the restaurant, and you will receive a confirmation email telling you the estimated time your food will be ready for pickup or delivery. With Skip the Dishes, you can get food delivered on demand or in advance from hundreds of local restaurants. Just type in your address or let the app find it for you and see who delivers to you. Here's what the Skip the Dishes app offers. Restaurants that deliver to you sort through the hundreds of restaurants by name, cuisine, or delivery fee. On-the-go ordering, order on demand, or schedule delivery up to 24 hours in advance. Saved addresses. Let the app remember your home, work, or friend's address to save yourself some time. Easy payment. Pay directly from the app using a debit card, credit card, or cash at the door. You can even remember your card for future use. Track your order. Keep real-time order updates and live GPS tracking of your food and food courier so you know exactly where your food is at all times. Leading customer support. Need help with your order? Our team is ready to help you with any questions or concerns. Download the Skip the Dishes app and start finding out who delivers to you. Want to learn more? Visit skipthedishes.com. At Fresh Crafts Gallery, you can find unique art, crafts, and one-of-a-kind gift items for everyone on your list this year. Julie told us more about their gift ideas and what they're doing for Small Business Saturday. So, Julie, what kinds of things are we going to find here at Fresh Crafts Gallery? You will find lots of gifts and handmade items from all over the U.S. and Canada. And artists that uh, are do jewelry, do ceramics, do wood products, 
art glass, lots of just beautiful things. Do you have any local artists that bring products in? Yes, we do have local artists as well as artists from California, New England, Canada, all over the United States as well. So let's talk about some of the things that you have. Um, What are we going to find? One of our favorite uh, artists is a company out of Des Moines, Iowa called Styx. And we're the only local place where you can find Styx furniture and Styx items. And have other artists such as Patricia Locke Jewelry. We have Lisa Robin Jewelry from Dayton, Ohio. And we have lots of others that are just terrific artists from all over the U.S. and Canada. The one thing I did notice by looking around here is it's very unique. You're not going to, you know, someone else isn't going to give the same gift if you give somebody something from here. That's true. I have uh, a lot of unique, one-of-a-kind items and also a number of different price ranges as well. I have some items that start at $2 and then we have some more expensive items as well. Let's talk about Small Business Saturday. What's that going to be like here? Uh, Small Business Saturday is going to be a fun day. We will have specials going on throughout the day. And um, it's such a great day for the small businesses across Columbus. In Upper Arlington, it's going to be a, a special day in that you can get a passport. And if you go to four different shops in Arlington, small shops who are participating, then uh, you can get win a t-shirt. So where can we find you? We're at 2068 Arlington Avenue in Upper Arlington. And also on the website, freshcraftsgallery.com. Well, with the holidays right around the corner, of course, that's the time when family gets together. Are you hearing as well as you should? Well, we got some tips from Greg Van Horsen of Absolute Hearing Solutions to determine whether that hearing may need checked. Well, you know, we're just around the corner from Thanksgiving. And, of course, family together those kinds of things. Is there anything that someone should look for if to kind of detect that somebody may have a hearing problem? See how people are actually communicating. Are they off to the side, distance themselves because they can't be around all the family and friends at the dinner table or watching the game? And are they saying huh or what? even in, on, on a one-on-one conversation, but especially at the dinner table, if, if they're at the far end and they're not hearing people, yeah. uh, that's it's usually a big sign. Because typically when you get the whole family together, you got a little bit of noise going on. Oh, absolutely. And what a lot of people will do when they can't hear a noise is they'll start to not participate in the conversations. They will kind of be distant, be doing, doing their own thing, or actually they'll just go off to the side and sit down and kind of be by themselves. What would be their next step to repair that problem? Uh, Well, the first thing is actually just get tested. See if it's really just a selective hearing pr- process or if it actually is a, a hearing you don't want to hear <laughs> you don't want to hear me you don't want to hear but yeah that's a lot of times it's just more of a brain thing and more or less to get people's attention because they were really focused on on actually hearing itself but then some actually most of the time it actually is actually hearing and not being able to hear hear certain sounds and and words and and that type of thing of, of family members. They think about the old hearing aids that was hanging over the back of the ear, and you see this big lump on the back, and, they, and, they, and they've got a stigma about that, right? But that's not the case anymore, is it? No, it's not really. There's two big stigmas. Is that it was what they used to look like, and then a lot of their friends, well, my friends used to just put my hearing aids in the, in the, in the drawer because they didn't sound right. Well, the reason for that is because when you were in background noise, it would turn everything up. It, so if the door slammed, people are yelling, they'd almost have to take their hearing aids out because it was like an airplane going off in the ears, and they just didn't like them. Now they can actually, it's more like an equalizer, and we can actually fine-tune the hearing aid to fit the actual actually loss so it's more comfortable. They don't have to take it out in noise where they can actually understand in noise much, much better than they ever could before. Well, how do we get a hold of you and learn more information? You can look on our website at AbsoluteHearingSolutions.com and come see us.